everyone, I hope you're having a lovely day today and you're enjoying the sunshine whilst it's here. Today's video I thought I'd do something a bit different and share with you 10 of my favourite things. So the first thing that I love is colouring and for my birthday my friend Olivia got me this Joanna Basford miniature secret garden colouring book and then for Christmas my friend Ruth got me a bigger Joanna Basford colouring book I can't remember if it's the secret garden one or another one in the collection I've only just started colouring in this book so I've done the introduction page And if you want me to do a video showing you what pens I have, leave them in the comments below and I can do a special video about my pen collection. So this is just an example of one of the Joanna Basford postcards that I've coloured in. The next thing that I love is my Apple Watch. I got it sort of for Christmas I asked for contributions towards buying a Apple Watch and I've got the Apple Watch 6 and I love it, it's so helpful to have something on my wrist and for me with my chronic illness it's really helpful to be able to like pick phone calls up and messages and emails on my watch and then it's really helpful to have the ECG, heart rate and blood oxygen function on here and it monitors my vitals periodically and it can alert me to the fact that my heart rate is getting too high or it can also detect falls and it also like on my phone it's got the medical ID which is really helpful. It does so many different things and I could do a whole video on my Apple Watch and again if you want me to do a video on my Apple Watch leave it in the comments below. Then the next thing that I love is my hair and makeup organisers. I found these out when I watched Becca's video on her organising her hair and makeup and they looked so helpful. So I found the organisers that Becca has and it's one of those products that you think why did I not have this in my life sooner? Again on the hair theme I love this product and it's the L'Oreal LV of No Haircut Cream. So you can use it as a leave-in conditioner on wet hair which is great when my energy levels are really low and I just want a quick hair wash with shampoo and then I can put this in. You can also use on dry hair just to kind of give it a bit of hair care. So I just put it through and just concentrate on the ends of my hair and it just gives it a little bit of TLC. On the theme of hair and makeup, my next favourite thing is my eyeshadow palettes. I love them all but my favourite ones at the moment is this one which is the expectation shadow palette and then this one I bought a while ago and it's the new neutral eyeshadow palette again if you want me to do a video dedicated to my makeup and eyeshadow palettes and other makeup bits Leave them in a comment below and I'll do a specific what makeup I love video or something along those lines. Another thing that I love and I dare not count 
how many nail polishes I own but I love nail polish. I'm actually qualified to do C&D shellac but I haven't been able to shellac my nails for a while just because I haven't had the energy but I've kind of thought recently I can do one hand one day and then the next day or the day after I can do the other hand but since I've done my shellac training I hardly ever buy nail polish unless I see a colour that I really 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 love. Going on to a different subject is food. I'm not really much of a foodie but I absolutely love these vegan mallows. The next food thing from the co-op, it's co-op brand and it's dairy free ice cream because I've got a dairy allergy and it's salted caramel ice cream and it is gorgeous. The next thing that I love which is pretty obvious from the background is letter writing. I love sending letters it's like my version of sending a friend a DM and I just get so much joy out of writing letters. It's a lovely pastime and hobby and I love making every letter that I write unique and the ladies in our village post office always know when a letter is from me and I always kind of hope that as well as the person receiving the letter that as my letter or postcard makes its way through the postal system that it brightens up postal workers days when they see something really jazzy going through the mail as opposed to the usual brown and white envelopes and for me especially because I am so isolated because of my disabilities letter writing is my way of socialising, it's my way of interacting with the world. I love my notice board that's behind me, it just cheers me up so much when I look at it and every item on my notice board that I look at I can tell who it's from and it just, yeah it just cheers me up so much especially if I'm having a bad day and I'm just laid in bed and I'm in so much pain and I'm just so exhausted just looking at my notice board just really just reminds me that I'm not alone in the world and how loved I am and the friendships that I've got and the people that I've got around me and it just is so uplifting. The final thing that I love is my label maker. So I've had this one for quite a while and it's the Dymo Letratag. And this is the first one that I got for mainly organising and labelling things because I have sort of an organised life it's kind of organized chaos it might look a bit chaotic to other people but to me it's organized and then i can't remember whether it was a year ago or a couple of years ago i decided to get the dymo embossing label maker this one's more for arty stuff so yeah they're my favorite things or some of my top favorite things I could have written quite a long list of favourite things and it was quite hard to write the list of what to put on my favourite things. I kept rubbing things out and changing them and then changing my mind and then rubbing out and changing my mind again. But yeah, like I've said, if there's anything that you want me to go into more detail about, such as my letter writing or my makeup and hair and nail polish collection or my pen collection just comment below and I can make a specific video dedicated to that topic so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and if you're a subscriber to my channel thank you so much especially to everyone who's newly subscribed to my channel it's really exciting to see my subscriber 
numbers going up and my goal is to get to a hundred subscribers by the end of the year so fingers crossed on that and if you haven't yet subscribed and want to keep up to date with new videos just click subscribe so I will say bye for now and hopefully see you in the next video.